What's up guys, this is Hatsumi and I'm coming to you with a brand new deck profile today and today I want to show you a little spoopy deck, profi deck profile for uh, Halloween. Um, this is Crawlers, obviously you see Spine here. Uh, it's The good news about this deck is that you have Disruption, you have Searching, uh, you have some Floating, you even have like your very own Lavalle Chain. The bad news is, is that it, they're all flip monsters. So, uh, I'm going to go into the deck. Uh, the deck is a solid, probably a tier 4, tier 5 deck at best. Um, I tried to be, try to make the deck as consistent as possible. Unfortunately, insects don't have a lot of generic support that's good. Um, but I was able to fiddle around with it, try to make it a, a mediocre. So, uh, let's get into it. Three Crawler Spine. This is your disruption of the deck. It's a flip monster, it's a mandator bug effect, uh, it does target, which kind of sucks, but regardless, uh, it's still destroying a monster on your opponent's side of the field. I'm not playing the one that destroys spell cards, I don't feel like that is very relevant um, at the moment, so I think the spine is just better. Next, we're playing three uh, Receptor, this is your searcher of the deck, it's essentially... Uh, Stratos-ish of the deck, basically it's flip summon, you get to search any crawler monster from your deck to your hand. Next is Glyle. Uh, this guy is the flo is a bit of a floater. He's the floatiest of the crawl of the crawlers. Basically, when he's flipped, you get to special summon a crawler monster from your hand or graveyard and face up attack to, uh, position or face down defense position. Position, aka always in face down defense position, um, because then you'll be able to get more flip effects off. Uh, and then finally, we're playing three Dendrite. This guy is your Lavalle Chain. When he's flip summoned, you get to send any card from your deck to the graveyard. Not just Crawler cards, any, well, any monster, specifically. Anyway, um, all the Crawler monsters have the effect of when they're destroyed by opponent's card effect, that um, you get to special summon two Crawler monsters from your deck that have different names than the one that was destroyed, and in face down defense position, which is okay. I wish it was not, I wish it was, like, destroyed by anything in general, but uh, regardless, it's, it's, that's uh, next two world legacy world armor kind of wish sometimes there i had a third one just because of the fact that uh it's actually pretty good the fact that this deck has a boss monster like this i would call this the boss monster mainly because it is very easy to special summon you just have to flip summon um any of your crawler monsters and it's not restricted to outside the damage step so like when you flip it from battle you get to special summon this guy out that's why i kind of wish i had the third one just because it is rather easy um but uh his and then you get to search out another copy of him from the deck or the field spell so yeah that's it's, it's pretty good honestly it's pretty good i think this is one of the better cards for the deck uh it's normal normal summon effect which is essentially a uh magic specter kieran um it's eh, the the amount of times you're actually going to get it off is very very low Play one Gofu, it's a Link deck. Uh, Gofu's really good. Unfortunately, this is at one now. It doesn't deserve to be at one. I, as I said in my uh, Banlist reaction video, this should have gone to two if it was going to be hit at all because it's really not that like powerful at the moment. It's more of a rogue choice, if anything, just to get a Link monster on the field. One well, Glow Bulb, you can send it pretty easily to the graveyard and you can you can consistently special summon actually in this deck, so um, one Glow Bulb is fine. One Cumongous, uh, it's a Kaiju, you can recycle it in this deck, it's it's pretty okay actually. Um, one Block Dragon, you're playing a lot of Earths, uh, <laughs> you gotta make some use out of the crawlers that are in your graveyard after you use them. So and. I think all the monsters except for World Armor, World Armor and Blackwing Gofu um, are Earth monsters, so that's that's pretty good. But uh, honestly, it almost warrants me playing a second one just because when he leaves the field, you get to search out another one, so it's not bad at all. Uh, one Maxi, it's an insect level two, so if you're playing against something that's a lot slower and doesn't special summon a lot, you can easily special summon this with the field spell and still use it for that. And now moving on to the spells. Three, World Legacy and Shadow. Uh, this is probably the best crawler card. Uh, that is, in fact, a crawler card. I I'll get to what I mean by that in a second. Oh my gosh, my voice just cracked. Anyway, so it boosts the attack of all your crawler monsters by 300. That's eh. 
And then once per turn, you can special summon one level two or lower insect monster from your hand and face up uh, or face down defense position. That's pretty good. Um, and then when your flip monster is destroyed by battle with an opponent's card effect, an opponent's monster, you can send that opponent's monster to the graveyard. That's why this, this card is good. Um, it's non-targeting removal. It's actually really relevant. People tend to not read cards, so this is... This is good. Um, and then the special summon effect is not a hard once per turn. So if multiples in your hand and multiple multiples of these, I would probably say like healthily two and then multiple crawler monsters in hand. You're going to special summon three crawler. You're going to get out a bunch of crawler monsters that turn. So it's pretty good. Three terraforming. Uh, we don't have what's it called set rotation anymore. I did have a Destrudo build of this, but it's not very relevant. And the deck isn't really fast enough for Destrudo to really be very effective. Um, so three terraforming, I think it's fine. I'm so happy this one was the card that stayed and not set rotation just because I hate playing like garnets in the deck. Three pot of desires, uh, you're playing crawlers. The deck's just inherently bad. <laughs> so, uh, th you need the three pot of desires just to speed up the deck. Next, we're playing two set, uh, two, oh, not set rotation, two scapegoat and one multiplication of ants. They essentially do the same thing, just like multiplication of ants at one of the deck because we, the crawler monsters sometimes do require specifically insect monsters. So, uh, one multiplication of ants. If you have worm bait, I would actually play two worm bait and one scapegoat, um, just because scapegoat has more utility than worm bait in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's good for that. Uh, two Book of Tayo, you kind of need this, unfortunately. Uh, if you're going first, you want to see one, at least one of these in your hand, opening hand, just because you want to get those effects off. So, Book of uh, Tayo is actually kind of relevant. One Book of Eclipse. Um, no, it's not because I don't have three. I actually do have three. I actually ended up going with one, uh, mainly because of how slow the deck is and how lackluster it is. And the reason, here's, here's my reasoning behind it, is that Book of Eclipse is mainly built so you can open the door to OTKs or shut off effects. And for example, if you were to take this deck to locals and play the one spiral player that is testing, um, you don't really want to like flip all their monsters face down with this because you're not going to, to clear their field. You're really not going to. So there's just going to get extra draws. This is just for extreme circumstances where you really need to just shut down their board. So one book of Eclipse is working just fine. One Soul Charge, because this is actually still really relevant. You, it's a Link deck. You're going to be sending cards very easily to the graveyard, in my opinion. Um, this will just extend things that you do. Three World Legacy Pawns. This is another card you can search off of World Armor. Um, you kind of need it. This is also not a hard once per turn. And uh, basically, you can target one face down monster you control and change it to face up attack or defense position, which is actually pretty disruptive during your opponent's turn. And then... Um, you can shuffle one crawler monster from your graveyard into the main deck, then target one face-up monster you control, change it to face-down defense position. So, um, oh my bad, it is a hard once per turn, which is kind of stupid. But uh, regardless, uh, you can only activate one of those effects per turn, which is, I don't really understand why, but you need to play three. The deck's, the card's just that good for the deck, uh, and also recycles your materials, so that's good as well. Finally, for the main deck, we're playing three strike and one warning. It's just standard engine staple stuff anyway moving on to the extra deck we are playing two x crawler quali arc uh two synapsis and two Nerogos. uh Nerogos i like the most just because of his arc but art but synapsis or whatever however the hell you say the name uh it is the best one just because it is the easiest one to summon um so quali arc has effects based off of uh, crawler monsters you have on the field, and that is assuming things are going well. Um, if you have six crawler monsters on the field, you get to attack directly, which can be really good and will typically end the duel at that point in time. But if you are able to get six crawler monster crawler monsters on the field, including this card, um, you sh your opponent deserves to lose at that point. Um, the deck is still fun. Don't don't get me wrong. The deck is still fun to play. It's just. You know, it's not the best. Anyway, uh, Snapphysis is the easiest one to summon because, again, it only takes two Earth Monsters. Um, and then both Snapphysis and Neurogos have the same effect where any Crawler Monsters, this car they point to gain 300 attack and defense. And if they bat and then if they battle an opponent's monster, uh, they get a specific effect based off of that. Snapphysis allows them to uh, 
make up to two attacks per battle phase. And Rogos allows them to, um, any battle damage they inflict to your opponent is then doubled. And then if they're destroyed by an opponent's monster, by battle, or by card effect in general, by your opponent. So they're a lot better with their effects. So basically they float down better through to the graveyard. So if you have two crawler monsters in your graveyard, they float down into that, um, which is actually pretty relevant. It's a really nice effect. I wish they were all in all of the crawler monsters because they'd be a bit better, but um, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take what we can get with this deck. Uh, two Mrs. Radiant. Uh, this is the best other than uh, this guy, uh, the Subterra Behemoth Fiendus. These are the best non-crawler monsters um, <laughs> in the deck. Mrs. Radiant can recycle pretty much any Earth monster in the deck, so you only play three, so that's a lot of stuff. And it also boosts all your crawler monsters by 500 attack, which is necessary. Fiendus uh, searches out your flip monsters, so it's the only one that requires two flip monsters to summon. The reason why I'm only playing one is because the, the likeliness that you'll actually make it with your crawler monsters is low. Next is one Ib. Uh, this is actually not that difficult to make. Uh, <laughs> it's just... I think you need one of it. Uh, one Link Spider as well, because you're playing Gofu. Uh, two, one Proxy Dragon, well, two Proxy Dragon, actually, my bad. Um, you can make Ib very easily using Link Spider, and I think that's actually kind of relevant. Um, basically, you summon Gofu, use one of them to make a Link Spider, and then use the Link Spider and one of the tokens to make Ib. Um, and then you can use Gofu for whatever you need, or blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you know where I'm going with that. Um, and then finally we're playing one Deco Talker. It is a link deck. Deco Talker is the easiest access rank, uh, link three that you have, that you have access to, excuse me. Um, so might as well play it. Uh, you're really not ever going to go into any link fours. If you want to play a link four, I would probably recommend Borolo Dragon just because I think that's the, going to be the most relevant card you can summon. Um, but yeah, the likeliness you'll actually go into it is low. Next, uh, and then finally, actually, one Naturi Beast. Uh, this is why we play the Glow Bulb. It's really good. <laughs> and just if you have the capacity to make it, make it. Uh, just because it's one of the best synchro monsters of all time. So, uh, with that, guys, thank you guys for watching this creepy crawly deck profile. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a nice day.